In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Our Archbishops and Bishops, and dear members of the Tigray Orthodox Tawahedo Church, uh, today we are, we are here to give a brief about the uh, statement uh, of the Ethiopian Holy Synod. The Ethiopian Holy Synod is trying to uh, excommunicate the Tigray Orthodox Tawahedo Church. But as the world knows, uh, almost for two years, uh, the Ethiopian Holy Synod was supporting the two-year genocidal war, financially and morally. And uh, our people was suffering almost for two years. And there was no any statement to support our people in Tigray. Uh, also, the uh, archbishops for the Council of Bishops in the Ethiopian Holy Synod uh, support the government uh, millions and millions of dollars from their members, from the diaspora, and inside uh, Ethiopia. Uh, so now we are here. Uh, <coughs> our senior archbishops, we have here our senior archbishops, and we have uh, bishops. Now we are independent church. Almost two years, we have no any communication with the Ethiopian Holy Synod. We declare we are independent church. We have our canon law, we have Orthodox Tohedo Church. Historically, we are the founders of the Ethiopian Orthodox Tohedo Church. Aksum is the holy city of Ethiopia. So nobody cannot excommunicate us because we are the founder of the church. And now <clears throat> we want to uh, give or highlight uh, to the international community <laughs> The Ethiopian Holy Synod members are uh, very interesting. The archbishops, in their statement, they declare that they prefer to serve for the devil instead of working with our people, with Tigray people. Very interesting. So now we are here. It is uh, an acceptable. Uh, statement and we ask the international community or uh, and our uh, oriental orthodox tohido church sister churches to support us we don't know why we are trying to uh, excommunicate because they have no valid reason we believe that it is an extension of the Tigray genocidal war because they want to destroy our church. Of course, they destroy our monastery, destroyed our monasteries, our churches, and we lost over one million people. Priests killed in sanctuary inside the church while they are praying. Our monks killed in our monastery still our monastery is occupied by our enemies, our neighbors. So even now, uh, <clears throat> today, it is a celebration of uh, Abba Salama Kasat Ibrahim, the founder of the Ethiopian, I mean, of course, in Aksum, the Ethiopian Holy Synod, in this holy day, while we are celebrating our father, Abba Salama, the founder of the sea, of Abba Salama in Aksum in this holiday, they are trying to disturb our peace and our church. So, once again, I would like to <coughs> to address to our diaspora community and inside Tigray, our people, we have no fear. We are legal church, we are independent church, and then we will work uh, to communicate and then to work with Oriental Orthodox Tohedo Churches 
So uh, there is no fear in our church here with our archbishops and bishops. We have over 8 million followers in the diaspora. We have a lot of churches. We have uh, over five dioceses, <coughs> over 100 churches. So nobody cannot excommunicate us. We are independent church. And then uh, <coughs> we'll, we'll update you through time, maybe this week, because now we are starting within two, three days, our ladies, uh, Feast of Our Lady for two weeks. We are in prayer. Uh, and then we will work uh, on it, and then we will uh, brief you and address again uh, their, the Ethiopian Holy Synod uh, evil workers. So uh, thank you, and God bless you.